Hello, what's up YouTube photographer Ronix Sweet and I tutorial and in this tutorial I want to show you how you can easily add shape or dimension to your images or how to create that kind of three-dimensional look in your images in Photoshop. By this I mean you're going to be learning about how to dodge and burn images in Photoshop. Remember, oftentimes most of us that use frequency passion after retouching images they tend to come out looking flat and sometimes we lose out on the facial structures or facial shape of our photos every single time we are trying to retouch images and we lose out on the beautiful contouring in the highlights and the shadows so this is a tool that is going to help you recover those highlights and shadows by recreating them in photoshop using dodging and burning and if at all you find the video helpful don't forget to hit the like button because when you hit the like button on this video it helps youtube push and recommend this video to so many people out there so let's kick in with this very tutorial so you're just going to be using the curves adjustment layers to recreate the highlights and the shadows within the image remember dodging and burning is more of enhancing the highlights or the shadows within the image when we are dodging we'll be enhancing the highlights and we, when we are burning we'll be enhancing the shadows of the image so you're just going to come to the adjustments and create a curves adjustment layer right here and you're going to click in the middle right here make sure you click right in the middle and drag up just until the image starts to get a little bit bright right there don't take it overboard so at this point it is fine and make sure the white layer mask is selected and press ctrl i on the keyboard for pc or you can use command i if at all you're using mac so just press that and that is going to invert the effect remember the effect was visible within the image when the layer mask was white remember in photoshop white reviews and black has hidden uh, the effect from the image so you're just going to double click right here and we're going to name that into dodge remember we just brightened up the image and you're going to do the reverse or a different thing this time around create a second curves adjustment layer and you're going to click right in the middle and this time around you're just going to drag it down to darken and after doing that you're going to select the white layer mask which is still revealing the effect in the overall image right here and you're just going to come and make sure it is selected and press ctrl i for pc then if at all you're using mac press command i to invert the effect and you're going to name this into burn so after doing this you're just going to put these two in a group by pressing ctrl or command g after selecting them put them in, in a group or you can as well select them and drag them into this folder icon to put them in a group then you're going to name that group into dodge and burn so when you turn this on and off you can see there is no effect affecting or there is no effect on the image so you're just going to come and open up this group by clicking on the drop down icon then we are going to first of all select our dodge layer remember dodging is for the highlights and burning is for the shadows so with this done we just want to reveal the effect back into the image and in order to do that you have to paint using a white brush on this black mask to reveal what was hidden behind this black mask so just come under the brushes or you can press b on the keyboard to select the brushes so right click on the brushes and get the normal brush tool and we have to set it right so come right here to the settings and make sure the hardness is zero percent then make sure the blend mode is normal opacity you're just going to be using a slightly low opacity so you're just going to be using an opacity of around 10 percent and a flow of 100 percent so after doing this we're just going to come and do one more setting down here so make sure you have black and white displaying on these two color swatches so make sure you click on these two small boxes to reset and have black and white displaying so make sure you click or left click on those two small boxes and in order to get white on top make sure you use 
X on the keyboard and that is going to switch in between black and red so make sure white is on top or you can use this arrow to switch between black and white so right now it means that the brush we are going to be using to paint on the image is going to be white and it is going to be revealing the effect that we brightened through the curves adjustment layer so you're just going to come so right now if at all your brush is displaying like a plus icon make sure you press the caps lock key and that is going to get the brush looking like this so you're just going to come and start enhancing the bright areas of the image remember we just want to add or create shape or dimension to the image by simply using the brush tool to do that for us so we're just going to come just come and paint on the areas you want to enhance that have or that have highlights in the image just come and paint just like that using our white brush remember we have selected the dodge layer and dodging is more of enhancing the bright areas of the image so you can come and also enhance right on the forehead remember the aim for this is we want to uh, create that kind of three-dimensional feel to the image so you can zoom in slightly but the thing about dodging and burning always make sure you do it as you're looking at the image at a distance because we want to see the effect from a distance and that is the best way to apply or to do your dodging and burning to the images so by using the brush you're just going to paint in the areas that have highlights and just look at the before and after for the dodgy and burn that's a before after before after so you're just going to do the same for the shadows so just come and select the burn layer and you're going to burn the shadows by using the same technique so with the brush still selected you're just going to come and do the same for our shadow area so just come and brush on the shadow areas or the darkest areas of the image so just come through the cheekbone right here and i'm just going to enhance that so a good thing about this it really it is non-destructive as you're doing this so you can come and eliminate if at all you overdo it so if at all you feel like you burned an area that you don't want to work on or to burn in the first case just switch your brush into black and you can erase the effect from that area so i'm just going to leave everything the way it is meant to be so let's look at a quick before and after for the dodging and burning of this image so this is the before after before after just look at how we have been able to bring back the shape or dimension to the image and how it is having that kind of protruding and 3d dimensional feel added to it so if at all you feel like it's too much you can either decrease the overall opacity for the dodging and burning or you can as well come and reduce on the opacity of either your burn or your dodge depending on what you feel like is overdone within the image so this is the before and after before after so you need to dodge and burn your images in order to have them looking better so this is it for this tutorial and if at all you have found this video helpful make it a point that you hit the like button on this video so that youtube can push and recommend this video to many people out there ronix from Monis photography thank you for watching and see you in yet more amazing tutorials and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating